Hey everyone, Anthony Mann here, founder and president of A Social Strategy. Today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about something Alex, the CEO of Asian Inner Circle, talked about just a few weeks ago. He had a whole conversation with us about branding. And I wanted to do something a little different and talk to you about social branding in today's world. It's really important to understand how much your brand identity means to you, especially on social media. So first thing I wanna to talk to you about is your Facebook business page. Nobody really pays attention to the Facebook business page unless they really understand how powerful it is anymore. Reason why nobody pays attention to it is because the organic reach of Facebook business pages has gone down so significantly over the past five or six years or so. However, if you're doing any advertising or marketing in the Facebook or Instagram world, it's really important to have a very, very good and well thought out brand strategy for your Facebook business page. Whenever you run an advertisement, you're going to be doing it from this business page and there is a good chance that someone is going to click on the actual page name and see if if you're active on your page. The other reason why Facebook business pages are so important is because they rank so highly in Google. If someone Googles your name, one of the first results that they're gonna see is from Facebook and their business pages. So it's very, very important to make sure you're very clear about who you are and identify yourself and your brand through your Facebook business page. A quick tip for you is you can use Canva to actually select the top piece of your Facebook business page. What you'll do there is you can actually create a banner with a CTA or a call to action in it, whether that's to contact you if they're looking for more information or simply to download something of value from them. It's a really easy way for someone to quickly get something of value from you without having to go through and jump through a lot of hoops. So Facebook business page, really, really important. Make sure you stay on brand and make sure that you're being very active on your Facebook business page, even if you're not seeing immediate results. The next thing I want to talk to you about is Instagram. Instagram by far is my favorite social network. The reason for that is it's quick, it's easy, and it's fun, right? So I don't follow a whole lot of people. I follow maybe a couple hundred people on Instagram, but all of the accounts that I follow mean something to me. What I mean by that is I follow a couple funny accounts that send out memes, I follow luxury real estate accounts, and I follow fellow business owner accounts. And all of the accounts that I follow, I actually want to see their content. The great part about Instagram is it absolutely exploded over the past couple of years. Recently, they announced that they have over a billion users, which is an absolutely crazy number. It means there's 95 million photos and videos being posted every single day, billions of likes, billions of comments. It's absolutely a place that you need to be and you need to be interacting. Now, when it comes to a content strategy part on Instagram, it's really not as difficult as people make it out to be. The way we do it in our business is we use a platform called Buffer. It's completely free and it takes us about 45 minutes to an hour each week to do our entire content schedule. So what we do on Sundays is for 45 minutes to an hour, we come up with our content for the week. Now, a social strategy posts two times per day, seven days a week. Sometimes we post three times a day, but consistently it's always two times per day. So when we set up our content strategy, we make sure that different times during the entire week, we have content on Buffer that alerts us when it's time to post. Now, the really nice part about the way Buffer works is when it's time to post, what's going to happen is Buffer will send an alert right to your phone. And all you have to do is click in two places. You're going to click the Buffer app and click post on Instagram. And you're completely done because you've already set up your post, your picture, or your video and your, um, your comment already in there. So there's nothing else you have to do except physically post it to Instagram. It's very, very simple to use and it's very, very easy. And again, we use it in our business. The last thing I wanna talk about is something a little more controversial, and this is your website. So your website is something that uh, has been really talked about a lot in the industry lately about whether it's even necessary. Now, personally, I do think it's necessary. I think not having a website in 2019 is like still using a flip phone in 2019 for your business. So what I want you to do is if you don't wanna spend a ton of money on your site, I understand that, and there's really no reason to anymore unless you have a large team or you're a broker owner and you have to have a website to draw people in. If you're a single practitioner or a small team, um, you know, really just having a website as a presence for you is going to be what you want, right? You can spend less than $50 a year, get a basic website set up. 
The other nice part is you can you can use it to drive traffic to. Now, you don't necessarily have to, but again, as people go ahead and Google you, your website will come up as long as you have some content on there that people can relate to. It's a great thing to have. Most importantly on your website, make sure that you have links to your social media accounts. That's it for me today. It was an absolute pleasure. I'm Anthony Mann, founder and president of A Social Strategy.